Hey, welcome to the show. This is Monday, obviously. Uh, 6-6-2022. Uh, what you gotta do? Anyway, uh, let me get back to this. That's what there's been lots, and I do mean lots, of discussion about recessions, how they're caused, uh, stuff of that nature. Oh, and by the way, just so I can kind of show off a little bit, there we go. Obviously, I got this while back, but I actually haven't done any, like, on-camera sort of thing until now. So there you go. Anyway, so I can remember being as a kid uh, in the 90s. I'm a 90s kid as far as upper goes, born in the 70s, but anyway. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, so let me, for some reason, it feels like my mic is not working very well. But anyway, um, so I remember uh, didn't I didn't remember much about the uh, about the George George H W Bush era um, years except for the fact he was an idiot who didn't know shit about shit, and you know Kuwait and the first Gulf War and all the bullshit. Anyway, uh, then I do remember a lot of Bill Clinton. And it's not just a Monica Whiskey bullshit, but other things too. Uh, I remember that Glass Steagall was repealed. I didn't really know what the ramifications of that would be because I didn't know anything about Glass Steagall. I, di- I didn't know anything about you know bank regulations, lack thereof, stuff like that, how it affected the economies. Or and I was young, um, but then as I get into fin- finan- financial topics, get more in- um, get more intrigued by it. And get more interested in it and you know learning about monetary theory and politics and how it matches up meshes whatever to ha- whatever have you i did remember back when before glass steagall was was repealed and he decided to be an asshole and pretty much uh take all the money out of the economy you know pay for the deficit um and i'm like okay well let's see well, here's what i'm remembering uh, a lot of people had less money. Taxes went up to a certain degree. I mean, uh, let's see, um, taxes went up, uh, spending went down, food bank lines got, got very long. Uh, let's see, more homeless, uh, people, people couldn't pay for anything. Uh, basically our, uh, self-inflicting, um, uh, money devaluation. Now, this is where I think the money de- devaluation is coming. It's not the spending; it's the uh, deficit redu- reducing. Because if people actually have money in their accounts, that means that they're going to spend it on not ma- maybe not just you know utilities, rents, and other things like that, but also on vacations, on you know going to movies, going out, stuff like that. That puts value to one's dollar. Uh, and and if there's more demand for it, that means that justification of it of that price going up, okay. But if there isn't much demand in regards to well, there's lo- the demand stays there, but the uh, the money's not in the economy. That means that the that the store, the the movies, whatever uh, whatever you're doing within your community, if that price goes up. That means that they're unable to uh, keep the prices down because, you know, maybe they couldn't get, you know, a a less expensive uh, uh, business loan, whatever, because interest rates went up. And when interest rates go up, prices within the economy go up as well. Uh, During this past time, when prices were up, that meant that we were being gouged. my whole point here is I just remember that when deficits were going, people had fucking money. People were able to go out. People were able to go on vacation. People were able to vote, uh, not vote, I'm sorry, uh, save. When you have no deficit and you have a quote unquote balanced budget, nobody has shit except for those who pay politicians to bring back the money. And when you bring back money, people don't have money to spend within your within the community. That means that manufacturing may go away. That means uh, food production may go away, jobs go away, and the more aggregate demand for cash goes up. But that also means that the valuation, the the value of that dollar goes down because 
even though there's high demand for it, that means that the prices also go up. So it's not, it's the direct opposite in, in my thought process. Like I have this up, for instance, because I'm trying to, I, what I want to do is I want to go through this little list and let's see if we had that right now. Right now we have rising interest rates. We don't have a financial crisis because banks are not short on liquidity. Uh, that's which why there is quantitative easing. Um, let's see, following consumer basis of confidence, that's not happening as far as I know of. Uh, exchange rates, no, it's still kind of either way. That's that's the fluctuates. Uh, fiscal austerity, we have that. We're going to have that when government cuts spending. We have that right now. Trade wars, we had that right now with sanctions and uh, and tariffs. So we have at least three of these that cause recessions. Three of these things. If we didn't have uh, the fiscal war, or sorry, trade war, if we didn't have fiscal austerity, and if let's see which one, if we didn't have interest rates, um, we still might almost be in that because. We still did have the the supply chain disruption because of the of the pandemic, so we technically have four things. Um, this for yeah, I mean, well, trade war. I guess you can say that the uh, pandemic kind of caused the trade war as well, along with that. So, but I still I'm I'm not counting them because there are two two separate categories that that basically have done the same thing overall. <laughs> So you have four things out of, see, one, two, three, four, five, actually follow, there's a follow real wages. That's also done that too. So you have five basic key points that can cause what is up there, recession, causes recession. Five things out of seven. Five out of seven. And guess what? All of it is done, being done by the fucking government. In one way or the other, trade war got the tariffs, you got the uh, you, tariffs and sanctions. Then you also have uh, the pandemic and other countries still going on, meaning that they're not sending as much. And that's well, maybe they, they sold them, but it's just not getting it's not getting to our destination yet. Then you have interest rates that are going up. Uh, let's see. Asset prices we do not have, as far as that part goes. A negative wealth effect leads to less spending. Not when there's not now when there's less spending within the uh, uh, the government spending anyway. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, so we have five out of seven here. Uh, for those who think the spending is the reason why, you're full of shit and you get paid to say that crap. Uh, yeah. The CNBCs out there, the C, uh, the uh, the Fox Business, you guys, the guys that come out like Peter Schiff for fuck's sakes comes out, King of Gold. His the price of gold hasn't really gone up in the past forty fucking years because it's not used. It's more of a commodity than it is. A, uh, it's a hedge for some losses. It's just an, it's the old style Bitcoin. Anyway, that's my point of view on that. Anyway. So yeah, you have five out of seven uh, recession-making things there. Uh, so yeah, it's not spending; it's the lack thereof. It's the 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 interest rates, which I'm kind of split on the interest rates because uh, I find out that interest rates are paid by the Fed and the uh, intergovernmental agencies such as Social Security have like 2.8 trillion in u.s security so i am on social security so that kind of benefits me in the long run uh so i'm kind of iffy on that i'm i'm paying more but at the same time i know that sooner or later even though i'm paying more right now i'll be getting more in the future as far as our part goes uh because because production prices will go down eventually however Social Security doesn't go down unless they find out they paid you too much. Uh, or, as I've been hearing, uh, Biden wants to give out, give another fucking, you know, w w wants to raise uh, Medi Medicaid and Medicare fucking premiums, even though 
there's no reason for it. Those same fucking companies have gone more and more and more and more just based on vaccine payments. So, oh yes, and I hear that they want to come out with uh, another one, uh, the vaccines. I'm not vaccinated. I'm never going to get vaccinated. I don't give a fuck what the hell you think or what the hell you think is going to happen. So far, I've been fine. So far, my fiance has been fine. Everybody that I've known of that has gone to shot has had something happen to them. My mother, who lifelong smoker, got the shot, was not on a, uh, on a uh, oxygen tank before the shot. Has to be on one now for the rest of her fucking life. I don't know if that's what it is. They never said. But when that happens after an experimental bullshit, you get no, I'm good. Um, anyway, so looking at looking at the screen, we have five of the seven. Looks like seven things. Two, four, six, okay, eight. So we have five out of the eight. Mm. Yeah, I'd say recession is close. Uh, also, if you do look at uh, credit, uh, like loans and stuff like that, uh, I think it's the uh, Fed uh, H8 report. Should, if you look at it, it should say that credit loans, uh, credit, card pay, uh, credit card payments or using credit card and credit has gone up since uh, government spending has ceased. Um, I don't know if that's still true today, but last time I looked, it was true. And that was maybe about a week or so ago. So check this shit out. It's out there. You just have to look it up. Anyway, so that's every single time the government stops spending. We as a community, we as a country, we have to stop spending in regards to non-credit. That's how. That's what I've, I have seen. I've also seen the fact that I've had to move from a from Seattle, a very expensive place now, uh, to Ohio, uh, the Columbus area to be specific. Obviously, you guys know that since I've been doing uh, stream, uh, streaming from downtown Columbus. Um, we got priced out of Seattle. Seattle has gone up as far as prices, but not as far as wages. Real wages have gone down big time. Uh, so yeah, when people say that it's too much money, that's, that, that's bullshit. There's not enough money. There's not enough uh, spending going on. Uh, there's a reason why there was a call for 2K during the pandemic because those who wanted to get, re, uh, get uh, reelected knew that you know, their constituents needed 2K a month to do that. And then you have assholes like Joe Manchin and Green Party rejects like uh, Christian Cinema uh, decide that, no, we're not going to vote for a $15 minimum wage, even though that's still below poverty wage right now as cost of living has gone up constantly every month, no matter what. Um, when they've done that, that to me, I think you would have a right to call them a treasonous bitch or a, a treasonous person, because that would be working against your country. That not, you know, anything voting against any uh, bill amendment, whatever that you know will help your constituents, I think can be not, can be called treasonous. That's my opinion. Um, so take it or leave it. And given the fact that Joe Manchin has so much money invested in coal, gas, and oil, and his number one contributors are those same industries, that is a com big time conflict of interest. And for the fact that Chuck Schumer uh, hasn't taken him off of that, which I believe he does have the power to do, uh, you know, take him off the assignment. Uh, he's complicit in that. And I think that every single person who has voted uh, down any spending, uh, talked about how you got to pay for it, I think every single one of them should be voted out and should never hold public office again because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. 
and they will never know what the fuck they're talking about unless they get paid for it. Anyway, that's my rant. And let's see what else. Was there anything else? <laughs> um, if you want to know more about modern monetary theory, if you want to know how the economy really works, how uh, how government spending actually helps instead of, you know, hurts, uh, how taxes actually don't fund anything, then go to realprogressives.org. Watch Steve Grumbine and uh, 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 watch him on, on Status Quo. Uh, he also had to show up here as well. Uh, the Rogue Scholar. Um, you can also look up Warren Mosler. You can also look up Stephanie Kelton. You can also look up pretty much anybody within that sphere. Uh, I myself, I follow Mike Norman, uh, who is mmt -er. He preaches about MMT and Wall Street trade, stuff of that nature. Um, yeah, so those people are the ones to watch and listen. To, listen. Never. And I didn't mean never listen to people like Larry Summers, like Peter Schiff, um, like uh, Gulak, you know, those people, because one, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're speculators. They literally get paid to speculate with other people's money. Peter Schiff recently had uh, some trouble, legal trouble with his bank. Um some not so kosher shit was happening with his bank. I think it's in Puerto Rico. I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but anyway, uh, let's see what else. Peter, uh, Larry Summers, uh, he's in, he was he was involved in a SPAC that went bankrupt, I think, or some stuff. I'm not sure, really, but he's he was the architect behind the uh, less than satisfactory uh, spending, which was after the financial crisis. Uh, two main things that happened during that same time or uh, after uh, uh, after Clinton, when Clinton had um, had uh, signed the uh, repeal of Glass-Steagall, that allowed uh, investment banks to marry and bang um, commercial banks. Uh, that also allowed them to bang, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shoot. Uh, lo uh, oh, shoot. Uh, Places down loan out, you know, the mortgage and mortgage security and stuff like that. That allowed them to all bang each other and get together. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of pissed off because not enough people know about modern monetary theory to make a at least a decent debate online. I mean, holy crap. Last night I actually had someone come back to me after about two weeks and try to rekindle the same debate we had two weeks prior and i'm like fuck that and i meet the bastard because i'm sorry to me if if you don't reply or continue a debate after say a day then you've lost or somehow some way you lost track of the, of the debate conversation whatever but i'm not gonna go back to that same debate because to me that means that if you if i say one thing and you don't retort or come back with proof of something else uh, in regards to the same topic then the conversation is done you're done so but the person decided to come back and try to, to rekindle something which was stupid um so muted that person anyway uh i'm sorry i'm kind of talking a little bit more than i should maybe but um point being yes well, Steve Grumby a couple of days ago said that monetary theory was literally the most important thing to learn, or at least he, that's how I took he was saying it. Maybe I'm maybe I got the the context wrong, but uh, he was absolutely right. He was absolutely right. There's no doubt about it because if you look at monetary theory, if you, if you look through that type of lens, then not saying you're always going to be right but you will be on a, a better path than those who think they're right. The Larry Summers, as I said, the uh, George, uh, the whatever, the first name, I'm not sure about Gulak, uh, the, um, oh, shoot, uh, the, uh, the shifts, you know, who was right about one thing and 
that one thing wasn't down for very long in the first place. Um, anyway, but yeah, um, it looks like we're on the road for a great recession. We have five out of seven, it seems like. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to find out what actually happens. But if you're wondering how we got here, now you know why. If we get into an actual recession, you know why we got into a recession. And you know who to blame. It's both parties. That Both parties suck ass. They are, they're both parties the reason why. Uh, we There are terrorists. There's a war. There's um, sanctions. Uh, there's, you know, you name it. They're the reason why. So get those fucking third parties going. Socialist, actual socialist, not this fucking socialist alternative bullshit. No. DSA, no. I mean, no. There are some in DSA that are actually socialists. I can't get. I, I can't take that away. But the people who are, are who are in charge of it, anything, uh, anything but socialist. Anyway, yes, I'm bad mouthing them because I have seen them uh, after Biden got into office. Almost nothing in regards to other uh, Black Americans fucking dying. Nothing of the nature. And they haven't done shit after, uh, after Biden got elected. Not one fucking thing. Uh, Black uh, Liberation, they've been out. I respect the crap out of them. I've done three uh, protests and rallies uh, uh, against trans, um, against trans uh, 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 bills that would discriminate them. Not one single social alternative person that was out there as far as the number, no one, not one single DSC member was out there to support this. Uh, not one Democrat. In fact, there was a couple of Democrats who were trying to get the bill passed. So just like just like half the people in the Black, the black uh, Liberation, I have been out there as well. Not as many times as I, as I like, but a lot of these things I don't know about. Um, so I think they're kind of like inner circle sort of things. But anyway, point being is, if it's a Democrat, don't trust them. If it's a Republican, don't trust them. If it's a socialist who's not a part of any of the establishment so, uh, socialist parties, they deserve a, more tr- a little bit more trust. But these, yeah, these are the re- these are the reasons why we would, would go into recession. That's happening now, and it's ha- being done by the government, by the Democrats, by the moderate bullshitters. Get open primaries going, get third parties in there, let's have it. Otherwise, what's the fucking point? Thanks for watching my little t- my, my little uh, rant here. I kind of wanted to go into that. Too many people have, have, have <laughs> said that uh, there's been too much government spending. There has been enough government fucking spending. Not at all. Not at all. Peace out for now.